one of the craziest Luke Smaxing transformations. You've probably seen a video of this guy called Zeta on Instagram or TikTok. He went from looking like just a regular guy, maybe not someone you'd look at twice, to someone who's now turning heads and making people stop in their tracks. And the comments, people are going wild, asking how he pulled this off. Did he get plastic surgery, or is this a totally natural transformation? At first, Zeta looked like any other guy you'd see on the street. But over time, he completely changed his look and leveled up his appearance. Some say there's no way he could look like this without surgery. Others believe he mastered Luke's maxing, improving his appearance with a solid routine, a lot of dedication, and focusing on things like skincare, fitness, and style. So, what's really behind Zeta's transformation? Did he take the surgical route, or is it all the result of hard work and lifestyle changes? If you're curious how Zeta made such a big change, keep watching. We'll look into his story and what he might have done to get this new look. Starting with his height, Zeta mentions in his TikTok that he's 6 feet 2 inches. Height alone can definitely make a difference in how someone's perceived, and being taller often gives an edge in Luke's maxing. But height is just one part of the transformation. What really has people talking is his face. From sharper cheekbones to a more defined jawline, Zeta's facial structure seems to have improved dramatically. Some people think these changes look too striking to be natural, which fuels the debate even more. Has he undergone some kind of cosmetic enhancement? Or is this all due to changes in lighting, angles, and maybe a little help from good genetics? Zeta's Luke's maxing journey actually started during his teenage years, between the ages of 15 and 19. That period, right through puberty, is when a lot of these changes really started to show. Puberty can be a powerful time for transformation, and in Zeta's case, it seems to have amplified his features in a way that really got people's attention. During these years, his face naturally grew more defined as his bone structure developed, which can make a big difference. So, while some of the changes might look extreme, the timing around puberty explains a lot. That's when many people see the biggest shift in their appearance, and for Zeta, it seems to have aligned perfectly with his Luke's maxing efforts. If we compare these two pictures, it almost looks like two different people. In the before picture, his skin wasn't bad, but in the after shot, his skin quality is on a whole new level. It's smooth, clear, and almost has that glass skin effect, the kind of healthy glow that really makes his facial features pop. So, how did he achieve this? He probably uses skincare products and follows a daily routine to keep his skin looking this good. Things like cleansers, moisturizers, and maybe even serums can make a big difference. He could be practicing water maxing by drinking lots of water to keep his skin looking hydrated and fresh. And let's be real, filters likely play a role here too. Those Snapchat or Instagram or TikTok filters can add an extra glow and smoothness to the skin, making it look even better on camera. Altogether, these things are likely helping him get that high-quality glass skin look we see in his transformation. Another thing you'll notice in Zeta's Luke's maxing transformation is his facial fat. In the before picture, he had a noticeable level of facial fat, even showing a bit of a double chin due to high levels of facial fat. Facial fat plays a big role in facial attractiveness because it affects how defined and visible your features are. Even if you have a great jawline and high cheekbones, a high level of facial fat can hide those features and dull the overall look. Facial fat can make your face look softer and less sculpted. For example, even someone as genetically gifted as Jordan Barrett didn't look as striking when he carried more facial fat. If you compare pictures, he looks much less defined and less attractive when he has a fuller face. But when his facial fat is low, his jawline and cheekbones pop, making his face look sharper and more sculpted. For Zeta, reducing body fat appears to have made a big difference. Body fat and facial fat are connected, so by lowering his overall body fat, he reduced facial fat too. This made his jawline and cheeks more prominent and added to that sculpted look. He also started gym maxing, which means he committed to working out regularly and building muscle. Going to the gym can significantly enhance attractiveness by improving posture, increasing muscle definition, and boosting overall confidence. A well-defined physique draws attention and can make facial features appear more striking. With a stronger and more athletic build, Zeta has likely amplified his transformation, showcasing how gym maxing can complement Luke's maxing and contribute to an overall appealing appearance. Another thing I noticed is the difference in angles between Zeta's before and after pictures. In the before picture, he took it from a low angle, which can make anyone look unflattering. A low angle can cast shadows, make lighting appear darker, and exaggerate certain features, which overall makes the picture look worse. In the after pictures, he used a higher angle, which is much more flattering. Taking a selfie from a high angle can highlight your best features, especially around the eyes. A high angle makes the eye area look more defined and helps avoid distortions that a low angle might create. For example, a low angle can make it look like you have a negative cantle tilt, even if you naturally have a positive cantle tilt. 
So, if you want to look your best in photos, avoid low angles and go for a slightly higher angle instead. It can make a huge difference in how you look on camera. Let me know if you want a video on tips for taking the best pictures. There are lots of simple tricks to enhance your look just with angles and lighting. Another important factor that boosted Zeta's facial attractiveness is his hair. Hair plays a huge role in how attractive someone appears, framing the face and enhancing overall features. Zeta originally had a brown hair color, which was probably his natural shade, but in his transformation, he went with a deep black color. This dark black hair gives him a more intense look. The new color makes his features stand out more, enhancing his overall appeal. Beyond just color, he also changed his hairstyle, and that choice made a big difference. In the after photos, his hair falls forward, covering his forehead. This type of hairstyle works really well for people with a larger forehead, as it balances out facial proportions and gives a more structured look. Additionally, when he had shorter hair in the before picture, his ears appeared more prominent. But with his new hairstyle, his hair helps to soften and hide this, making his ears look less protruding and creating a more balanced look. Altogether, these changes in hair color, length, and style have amplified his attractiveness, showing just how powerful a hairstyle can be in enhancing facial features and giving a more polished intentional appearance. Zeta's eyebrows have also gone through a major upgrade, which really boosts his overall look. In the before pictures, his eyebrows were a bit thinner and sat higher up, leaving a noticeable distance between them and his eyes. This wider gap can make the face seem less defined and a bit softer. But in the after photos, his eyebrows are thicker, denser, and sit closer to his eyes, giving him a sharper and more masculine appearance. Thick and well-shaped brows frame the eyes and add intensity to his expression, which makes a huge difference. The reduced space between his brows and eyes really enhances that focused striking look. So, how did he achieve this change? It's possible he used minoxidil on his eyebrows, a popular choice to stimulate hair growth, or even a brow serum to help thicken them up over time. Regular grooming, like trimming and shaping, could also have helped give his brows a cleaner and more polished look. He may also have used facial exercises, massage techniques, or even a technique to subtly bring his eyebrows closer to his eyes. The steps of this method are simple. Raise your eyebrows as high as possible. Look up as much as you can without straining your eyes. Bring your eyebrows back to their normal position, and then return your eyes to their usual position. Repeating this sequence multiple times is believed to help reduce the distance between the eyes and eyebrows, and even contributes to that hunter eyes look by enhancing the brow area's shape and position. Another thing to note in his before look is the noticeable upper eyelid exposure. When the upper eyelids are more visible, it can sometimes make the eyes look more open and softer, but it can also detract from a more intense and sharp appearance. In the after photos, Zeta's upper eyelid exposure is reduced, giving his eyes a slightly more hooded focused look. This change contributes to the hunter eyes effect, making his gaze appear stronger and more defined. Together, these methods and small changes really add up, giving his face a stronger and more defined vibe that stands out. Another key part of Zeta's transformation could be mewing. By placing the tongue on the roof of the mouth consistently, mewing can enhance facial structure over time, helping to define the jawline and create a more lifted look. In Zeta's after photos, his jawline and cheekbones appear sharper and more sculpted, which could be partly due to regular mewing, along with a lower body fat percentage. This technique likely contributed to his overall chiseled look. Another striking change in Zeta's transformation is his eye color. In the before photos, he had dark brown eyes, but in the after images, his eyes are blue. This shift highlights how important eye color can be in enhancing attractiveness. So, how did he achieve this change? It's likely that he used colored contact lenses to switch from brown to blue. Changing eye color is actually quite simple. With the right contacts, anyone can easily alter their eye color to achieve the look they want. Now, let's talk about Zeta's cheekbones. There's speculation that he might have engaged in a practice called bone smashing, which involves using a tool like a hammer to impact the facial bones. In some of his videos, he even demonstrates this technique. However, it's important to note that this method could be unsafe and is not widely recommended. Personally, I don't believe Zeta achieved his cheekbone definition through bone smashing. There's also the possibility of plastic surgery, which we'll discuss later. But for now, it's likely that his sculpted cheekbones are a combination of genetics, reduced body fat, and possibly other non-invasive methods. Now, let's explore the potential for plastic surgery in Zeta's transformation. Personally, I don't think his cheekbones look completely natural. They seem quite pronounced, almost like small balls, which gives an extreme appearance. The key to an appealing look is to maintain a natural balance, and sometimes, when cheekbones are too defined, they can appear artificial. This reminds me of Amber Heard's cheekbones. While they certainly look striking, they also have that over-the-top quality. Cheekbones can enhance the overall shape of the face, 
giving it a sharper look, especially in three-quarter side profile pictures. From this angle, well-defined cheekbones create beautiful contours and curves that elevate the facial structure. So there's a possibility that Zeta might have had some plastic surgery to achieve this defined look. Common procedures that can enhance cheekbones include cheek implants or fillers, which can create that sculpted appearance. One noticeable aspect of his transformation is the hollowness in his cheeks, which suggests he may have undergone a buckle fat removal procedure. This technique is quite common among models and celebrities looking to achieve a more sculpted facial appearance. Buckle fat removal involves removing the fat pads from the cheeks, which can create a more defined and angular look. This procedure can enhance facial contours, making the cheeks appear slimmer and more hollow, emphasizing the jawline and cheekbones. For many, having hollow cheeks can give the face a more mature and refined look, which is often sought after in the world of modeling and social media. So, it's plausible that Zeta's transformation includes this procedure. Moving on to Zeta's jawline, one of the standout features of his transformation is its newfound sharpness. This change is likely due in large part to losing facial fat, which enhances the definition of the jawline and makes his facial features more prominent. In addition to natural fat loss, there's a possibility that Zeta may have considered plastic surgery to further refine his jawline. Procedures such as jawline fillers or implants can create that chiseled look that many people find appealing. A strong jawline is often associated with masculinity and attractiveness, contributing significantly to the overall balance of the face. Other plastic surgeries Zeta may have had. Rhinoplasty could have refined his nose, enhancing his overall facial balance. Custom orbital implants might have contributed to a more defined eye area, while upper and lower blepharoplasty could help create a more youthful and refreshed appearance. Additionally, Zeta might have used Botox or fillers near his eyebrows to achieve a lifted look, along with upper eyelid exposure fillers to enhance his eyes. And now I want to hear from you. What do you think about Zeta's transformation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll be sure to read them and give you a heart. And if you want to see how women react to handsome men on Omegle, click on this video.